Residents of Diamond East Bank Demerara are closer to benefiting from a $2 billion water treatment plant, which is presently 77% completed. A team from the Guyana Water Incorporated and the Inter-American Development Bank recently toured the facility to get a first-hand look at the works completed thus far. Residents of Diamond express appreciation for the water treatment plant. A vendor and taxi driver at Diamond Market shared their thoughts. We're going to get a better standard of the water, you know, and that is good because right now it's by bottle water. So if that the standard is improved better than what it is now, I won't have to buy water. It's really good benefit because I tell you the truth, the water just come really dirty and it don't filter too good and purify, you know. Yeah, it's going to benefit, man. As a $2 billion facility nears its December 2020 deadline, 77% of works are already completed. Minister of Communities Ronald Balkan praised the significant input of resources into the vital project. In this regard, I believe it is well accepted that apart from a roof over our heads, that the provision of pure water is one of the basic requirements and necessities for dignified living. So in this regard, this administration is resolutely committed to providing this vital uh, ingredient. Some 30,000 people stand to benefit from the water treatment plant. According to the managing director of GWI, Dr. Van West Charles, the water treatment plant will allow GWI to save approximately $25 million per year due to a reduced need to use chemicals to treat the water. The facility will also lead to approximately $1.2 million in energy savings. The managing director also touched on plans for the hinterland region. The Ministry of Communities and GWI are seeking to move aggressively to look at the issue of access in the hinterland communities. Meanwhile, Executive Director within the Inter-American Development Bank, Selwyn Hart, praised the IDB projects within Guyana and said the team's intention was to listen, learn, and to understand the context of Guyana's development and to gain insight into the challenges and opportunities in Guyana. With funding to be secured later this year, plans are also in stream to further remove lead from the water supply in Georgetown and Bartica. The Diamond Water Treatment Plant is one of three funded by the IDB and the European Union. The other two are located in Region 6 and Region 3 and collectively cost $6.6 .6 billion with a December 2020 deadline in sight. These plants help the Government of Guyana to achieve the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal No. 6, which aims to ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. Reporting from the soon-to-be-completed Diamond Water Treatment Plant with videographer Kareem Peters, Shaquille Bourne, Foreign for Hub.